Hello, welcome to Dose of Discourse. Um, this is Eric, Kanai, AJ, and Tiffany, and I'm Boy. Daisy. Woo! So, Look you. we're going to introduce what we're going to be drinking today. We'll be drinking nice Walmart brand water. Wow. Yes. Wow. Love great um, value. I made a smoothie. It's, um, it's berries and like protein powder <laughs> is it like fresh berries or frozen uh frozen because i like it like uh to be thick mm. yeah i like the ombre colors mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah it like sinks to the bottom oh yum Whatever. yeah it's good i'm drinking um royal milk tea but it's sakura edition here's here's what the packaging looks like it's pink it's pink. We got the cute little flower, so it called my name. Okay, I guess I'm going next. Um, <laughs> I'm eating Cheez Its. That's not a drink. That's not a, he's drinking <laughs> Cheez Its. <laughs> I didn't have a drink, so I kind of just walked over to the downstairs fridge and pulled this out. It's like giant glass of Pellegrino or Perrier. Perrier. Damn. I don't know if I'll drink it though. <laughs> <laughs> it's just there. It's decoration. I have water. water. But now that can I brought up royal milk tea, I'm like, damn, I have Thai tea that I could have made, but it's fine. I decided to put on a shirt that wasn't a t shirt. So, okay. Damn, we just so unenthusiastic this morning, huh? <laughs> you want to tell them why? <laughs> yeah. We're not so. Today's our see our season finale, season finale. So last episode for a while. One will come back. I don't know. We don't know. We whatever need a long break. Like it. Yeah, yeah, whatever we like... feel like. It, bro, it could be. It could be next month. It could be like in three years. Who knows? It won't be that okay. long. It won't be long. <laughs> She's not wrong. Yeah, we 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 just got a lot of. We just really busy. So we we all we need a break. So. This is our season finale, you know, like in the Bachelorette, Bachelor, tell all, the Bachelor, tell all, those of Discord, tell all. We're also just tired. It's early. We slept late. <laughs> yeah, I saw like, who was up? AJ, you were up at like 1 a.m. piercing your ears again. And then Tiffany, <laughs> mom, I think Tiffany's usually up that late anyway, but. I came home late from work because yeah. my the order that I'm doing, the customer is really mad. So I'm like, well, I guess I'll stay late. Mad. Why was he mad? That's uh... Well, because th- th- this is a big company and they ordered like six orders at once and they're like, why well, isn't it out? Or blah, 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 blah. Oh. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe if you didn't order like six orders at once, you know, this wouldn't happen. Yeah. And then like oh. the other orders that they did, like it's not going right. I'm like, mm. yeah. So I didn't but go to bed till four. But you're oh. not the only one mm. who stayed. OMG. Overrated. Yeah, no. I stayed with my team lead because she was still doing stuff. And I'm like, I'll just stay with you and finish this. Well, but the, damn. That's right. Gotta get that double OT. Yeah. <laughs> double OT. Double yeah. OT. Yeah, so I, w- I was like, for some reason, I was just like, hmm, I need to do the thing where like I put earrings in my ear for a little bit so it's like it doesn't close. But then it, it was closed. Like the back, it was like I could feel it like it was like there's no hole but i could see where it would be and if my mom so i was trying to find like the thinnest earrings i have but like my mom has like her earrings she's like the really she has like pretty thick earrings so it like doesn't fit so i'm like trying to poke a hole bro this ear was like definitely like bleeding a little bit but like it didn't hurt but i had to like which is like weird because it's not like I've had earrings for more than 20 years. I think I was, my ears pierced when I was like one. So it was weird that it was like closing now when it's never closed like this. So I'm like, yeah, that's what I was doing at 1 a.m. I, I, I was like, mm, I'm in the mood to like pierce my ears, you know? That's uh-huh. like college vibes <laughs> where you just like randomly do stuff at like 1 a.m. <laughs> Do random do randomly do stuff so you avoid like doing things you have to actually do. Yeah. And then suddenly it's a 1 a.m. You're like, oops. Or, you're like, oops, where has the time gone? Guess I'll just do it tomorrow. Yeah. Time for bed. Yeah, so they're in now. 
so I guess I'll just leave it in for a little bit yeah. to like heal up a little bit because it's not gonna like close like you know how like when you first get your ears pierced like yeah. you have to keep them in for a long time because if you take it out they like literally close within like 24 hours well it's like it's just the back that was like I think it was just blocked by something you know it was weird because um when I was putting it in like I had to like try to find like where like where it was because it wouldn't just go in straight at that time because it was like blocked so I was like I was like, at, my mom was like, she's like, you just gotta like shove it in. <laughs> I was like, she's like, no. <laughs> like the bullet. Yeah, I mean, she has like, like she has like three ear piercings because they all, they like closed when she was like younger. So like, but they never pierced in the same spot. So they're all like, I'm like, bro, my mom was like, she could put like three earrings in on one ear if she wanted. <laughs> they're all like, like right here. Vibing, yeah. See, I learned my lesson because of marching band, we would oh. have to take off our earrings, right? So I wouldn't put it back in for like two weeks at a time, and then I would do the, have that struggle every time, yeah, because the back would close already, and then I just like have to like shove it in and then have that pain every time. And I'm just like, it like swell, it like kind of swells up a little mm-hmm. bit too because it's like inflamed too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really weird. I don't know, like, cause like the you can fit it into the front. It's just like something in the back that just like. Closes it was up. weird because when I was doing it, when I finally poked the hole, it was hard for me to put it through sh- this way because I think it was like there was like something in the middle, but I could like do it backwards and poke it through like no problem. But like putting it through the front was like. That's so weird. That's probably how it closes. Like yeah, the, it's like maybe it closes in the middle. Yeah, outwards. I think it's, yeah, it was like somewhere in the middle, and then. It was weird. That was my 1 a.m. 1 a. adventure last night. My 1 a.m. adventure was that I got home and we were, we, we said we were going to get McDonald's after coming back from the sauna. Oh, I don't spa. remember that. Co- I don't remember no. that conversation. That's what I understood. That no, was, that was Kanai's conversation. I was, like, like, that was you because I was talking. hungry and I was like, oh, <laughs> the sauna is making me hungry. And I was like, maybe, maybe like, you know, when we get rid of our toxins, we'll just put new ones with McDonald's with like fries. <laughs> and I was like, damn, I was really craving French fries. But then on the way home after we were cooling off, like if somebody else was going to go, then I was like, okay, well, I'll go get like some McDonald's too. But if nobody else is, is wanting to go or, you know, we're all tired. So I'm like, no, like we don't have to go. It's fine. But like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, we could have gotten this. Oh. Yeah, I was just out, out in the car having like my movie moment. Like the I know. window, the windows are down. Olivia Rodrigo was playing. <laughs> I was living my life like in that car. I don't remember. I remember briefly us talking about like someone was talking about French fries, but like I was like too busy like relaxing. Like I was like falling asleep. Why did you get McDonald's? No, um, oh. I came <laughs> home and I'm he just was like thinking about it. I was. I'm like, I don't want to go to McDonald's for myself. I'm just gonna go home. My brother said he had pizza and something else, a chicken, and I came home. There's nothing. There's nothing. He ate. He ate it all. <laughs> <laughs> um, he has not been your friend recently. Mm-mm. So I I found like leftovers from <laughs> my parents went to a restaurant and oh. they had some did leftovers. You, did you eat some of that? Yeah. I would have gone McDonald's. <laughs> it's like and that's such like a, you know like a college thing when it's like on a Friday night, yeah, you, like, yeah. and it's like after you drink and stuff. That's what, that was the vibe I felt. That was the vibe. That was the vibe you got. Uh, I, that like, was not the vibe. That was not the vibe we had. Though. <laughs> this morning, I'm like I'm not like hungover, but that's kind of what it feels like. It's- what? <laughs> <laughs> so. For for our listeners out there, me, Kanai, and Eric, we went to a Korean spa, and we were like, we there was like different like hot rooms, and there was like one where it gets up to like two hundred degrees, and Eric like crawled into that room, <laughs> like he was like like you know in the movies when like you know the characters like crawling through the desert, that's what Eric was doing in that room, <laughs> and then he just plopped down. And I was like, bro. Surrender. Yeah, Eric was sweating like <laughs> hella. He was wet. Like, 
all over we were, we were we were there like in there for that long like no, in that room no er- but eric immediately started like dripping <laughs> he was wet he was a moist boy oh don't say like that <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it was it was a nice time. It was funny because I was trying. I guess I w- I was doing it wrong. I was trying to make those little like lamb towel hats, and then like one of the like one of the older workers, he saw me and he's like, "I'll do it for you." And then he made me the hat. He showed me how to make it, and I was so happy. That's all I got. That's all I wanted was to make he, the hat. <laughs> and he took our picture too. Yeah, he took like, our picture every time. Every time he saw us struggling, he came back like two or three times. Yeah, yeah he, he came back. He was so sweet. Yeah, he was so sweet. Wait, I'll show you. I'll show you the picture because we had to wear uniforms, right? So Eric, the boys, they get like a gray uniform. So you can that doubly was, see the sweat. That yeah. was they did. That, they did them dirty. <laughs> yeah, they did them dirty because it was like a light gray. Yeah. You know, kind of like our marching band tees that we and had, you, like one or two, but everybody's like, why? Like that. Here. Yeah, but Eric was, and then, Eric was and then the girls boy. got, oh, sh- the girls got pink. You guys all look like Ajumas. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we really do look like Ajumas. Let's look like Ajumas. That's what I thought when I what saw it last night. It's Ajuma? a grandma in grandma. Korean. Or it's like it's like it's like older lady, like a like a yeah. like a Korean auntie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like. Like yeah, Ajumas. Like, Ajumas. <laughs> like, like kind of like, you know, like Tita, like in like Philippines, like Titas. But, um, yeah, like, bro, yeah, can yeah. I really, can I really look like a, like a Ajuma when we were in like one of the ice rooms and we had like, she had like, we had like a long towel from one of the other rooms we were doing. And she cold. like, she draped it over herself and it looked like a little <laughs> cardigan. I was like, you, I was like, I told her, I was like, you look, you really look like an Ajuma here. <laughs> okay. Live, living my best life. Yeah. Next time you two, Daisy, Tiffany, next time you yeah. guys are home, we'll take you there. I think, I think you'll enjoy yeah. it. Y'all can go naked yeah. too. Yeah, <laughs> bro, I'm so mad. I'm so upset. Yeah. One, I was upset for like two set like two different reasons that day. But <laughs> I forgot about I'll, that. I'll explain that later. But um, <laughs> no, I was ready. I was re- I was like, bro, I'll go, I'll I'll go with the naked Ajumas into the spa. Like when you go to locker room, like they're everyone, they're like uh, half the people are naked because like there's a, the spa is like in there, and bro, I was like I was ready, I was gonna go with like the, the naked old Ajumas, but um, but yeah, the, the, she, the late some lady started cleaning it, and I was like, <laughs> bro, it's eleven p.m. Like they're like I think the cleaning hours is like one to seven. And I was like, man, and then when she finished, she finished right when I finished putting on like my normal clothes. And I was like, oh, I'm too lazy now. Because we thought Eric wasn't going to be in there for long. And he like, wasn't the there for side, a long time. But he was. He was there for like a good 20, 20 minutes. <laughs> I thought I thought AJ was already in this. I'm like, oh, she's going to like enjoy herself. I'm going to, I'll take my time. I'll do no, the. No, <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm so sad. So I'm going to go next time. Yeah. That reminds me. I feel like old ladies always just go into the locker rooms naked. Because oh, no, my we parents. Saw, like- young people no uh, oh yeah okay okay i guess just maybe it's just asian people i guess because <laughs> um when we used to go to la fitness with my pa- when i used to go to la fitness with my oh, parents oh yeah they, like, there's always there's just naked the people naked, everywhere old, in the old locker naked rooms. ladies do not mm-hmm. care yeah. like yeah. first of all i'm blind because i don't have my glasses on i'll turn the corner and i just she sees boobs <laughs> i see boobs and gucci and i'm like oh. <laughs> <laughs> This is not what I wanted to see on my, I don't know, Thursday evening. <laughs> I don't, I don't, different evening, maybe. But, <laughs> but yeah, I think it'd be nice because I'm like, man, I was there. I was thinking, I was like, yeah, you know, these in the military, Tiffany works so late. This would yeah. be nice for them to like relax there. Mm-hmm. Tiffany would definitely be like really red and sweaty. Oh, yeah, for sure. I just imagine. He was in all that water weight. <laughs> I think Daisy and Eric will have to compete for like the sweaty. Who's the, most. Yeah. <laughs> Who's Who's the, mo- the most? most moist? Because oh gosh, but, yeah. I didn't. Know, I didn't know it could be a competition. Like I didn't I, know this was a thing. I, I don't know. Some people do. I don't know. 
because a lot of those ladies were weighing themselves after, so Oh yeah, that's funny. you know, but it's Put just on all like, the water weight. yeah, I was like, wow, after 15 years of like seeing AJ for so long, I'll be like, wow, Bro, we're reaching, she was. I'll be Did like, you? She was. What? Bro, she was like. She was like. Yeah, I've known AJ for so long, and then today I'll probably see her naked. I'm like, bro, don't look at me. Don't look. I'm like, you're a weirdo. I mean, there's like, only one way in and one way out. Bro, like, she was like, she was like, I was just like, you act like you're gonna be staring at me. <laughs> I'm like, what a weirdo. Damn, don't make it uncomfortable. <laughs> but yeah, I, mean, you but yeah you. I think I think you guys, it was really nice like to just lie yeah. down on like the really hot rocks. So I think you two would enjoy that. Yeah, For our listeners out there, if you're interested, kid. it's um by Milwaukee, by H Mart. It's called King Spot and Sauna. It's open 24-7. They also offer vaginal steams for you special ladies out there. <laughs> They steam her vagina. <laughs> Why is it the first thing you ever tell? <laughs> because it's the that's most their, that's like that's like their thing. Yeah, oh. there's like a there's like a thing. Is, they like advertise that. Yeah, like in the bathrooms, you'll see it, and yeah. then right when you walk in, it's to your left when you grab uniforms. They're just there. <coughs> yeah, steaming yeah. it up it's in just, there. It's just a bunch of na- naked naked people <laughs> when you walk in. It's pretty funny. Yeah, honestly, yeah. it's pretty funny. But, like, I, the one thing that was weird is, like, seeing young. Like, yeah, there were a lot of young people. So, yeah, like, like, high schoolers. There were, like, high schoolers. I'm and like, then I was, like, do. I was, like, don't you guys have curfew? <laughs> that was my first thought. I, I was just, like, where are your parents? I'm like, what, what are you stressed about? <laughs> yeah, I was, like, what are you stressed about? It's, I was, like, five school- AP classes. Yeah. yeah. I was like I was like, didn't school like just start? <laughs> They're stressed they didn't I don't know, get all their school supplies. Maybe. But I thought it was a good way to kind of lose weight without doing anything. Or just like, you know, it was nice. Or just chill. I mean they also have a food court there too. So y'all can eat, sleep, and repeat. Yeah, you can sleep. There is like yeah, I like flying. There is like it was like you know those like the the what they had like wooden like like head neck rest and I was like you know it looks like it'd be uncomfortable but I was like man let me get myself one of these it like a lie if my 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 back felt so aligned that day yeah from my because but I have such poor posture Eric has a weirdly shaped head oh yeah <laughs> tell them about it, Eric I guess most so. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it was comfortable but other times like i have like my skull i actually has a name this thing has a name it's not like uncommon yeah. but it's like a bump at the Wait, back of my skull are you were you putting it like on your head is it supposed to be on your neck it's supposed to be on your neck <laughs> <laughs> well there there i was totally doing that's it what, that's what, that's why i was so confused i was like he's like my head hurts i'm like Wow. <laughs> I, I just know, think it didn't know. click until now. That was like, maybe like, he's, he's doing it wrong. You're, yeah, you're supposed to put it like at the ba- like your base of your neck at the yeah. top. Yeah, I totally did it wrong then. That's no wonder you were uncomfy. <laughs> a wooden pillow. No. It was nice. It was nice. There was like a room where it was like cubes, like wooden cubes. And it was like when you walk in, it was like you were stopping on Legos at first. Oh, oh yeah, we saw that guy. He oh yeah, the there. Someone yeah, like there... stepped on it and then like was not <laughs> expecting that he fell in. <laughs> <laughs> he was with some buddies and they started laughing at him. <laughs> they were still laughing when when we left. Yeah, I mean he was really red. I don't know if it was with heat, but or... no, it's because like oh strangers saw me fall over. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I couldn't stand there. I had to crawl. I had to sit. Like, I'll sit right here type of moments. I, I couldn't do it. My feet are so sensitive in that way. I, 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 my, my feet were ticklish when I first stepped on it. It tickled. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. We'll have to take you there for sure. Why else am I mad? Okay, I'm mad. This corn dog place is making me so mad, you guys. So mad. <laughs> I'm so sad. I, intro- I like, okay. Context. 
my TikTok feed always sends me food places from the Chicago area. Don't know why, because I'm not, I don't even live there. But uh, so I saw this corn dog place and like, it's at Glenview. And I'm like, perfect. I can send it to the group. Somebody can try it for me. AJ, I was like, oh my God, I was just there. Let me go try it. And she was like, the first day there, AJ can explain it. She was like, the bro, owner got mad or bro, something. Bro, it was wild. It was wild. So I was there with my friend Caitlin and it opens at 11 and we got there around like 11 40 so it's wow. only open for like 40 minutes right but it's still kind of popping but the line's like not too long we probably waited like a good like five ten minutes in line and we were like second in line there's like one girl in front of us and then suddenly I don't know if he's he, he's probably like one of the owners or something he like angrily walks out He angrily walks out. He pulls out like, like, like a step stool ladder, and then there's like these other people that I don't know if they're like other owners or like managers. They weren't dressed in like you know the normal uniform. They look like maybe they're like higher management, and then they're like trying to stop him. And the only thing I understood, they're like they're just speaking Korean. And the only thing I understood was like the like the other people were like saying in Korean why 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 why, and he was like he got up on the stool it could look unstable he looked like he was about to fall because he was so angry but um because you know how some places they'll cross out like menu items if they like run out that's what we like we thought was happening but like it's like one of those menus where you can like pull it out from like the holder and he like angrily starts like pulling it out and then he like puts it on the ground he's just angry and then we're there's like a huge line behind us there's like probably like 30 people like waiting for like that already paid and they're waiting for their food so there's a lot of people i'd say like probably like 50 people in this um place right now and then suddenly i don't know then he storms off with like the other people and then like i felt bad because like i think it was like one of like the normal employees because she was like in like the uniform and then she like she's like she comes out and she's like yeah if you've already gotten your order like paid we'll get your order out as soon as possible. But like everyone else, we can't take your order at this time. And I was so upset because, bro, they were only open. Oh, okay. They were only open for like 40, like 50 minutes at max. And I was second in line. I was right there. And they're like, no, no more, no more corn dogs. So, so I was like pretty sad because if I was in the back of the line, I wouldn't have cared so much but like it was within my grasp you know Mm -hmm. I was oh my god I I just wanted I wanted the the ones with the potatoes on it and cheese inside it's all I wanted and so I was disappointed some some lady who was there she wrote a really like long review on like google reviews oh yeah it was one star and it was a really long because it was like I understood if they like sold out, I guess, that fast. But it's like, like business wise, in my opinion, like you should like account for like, like, you know, the hype that is getting to account for the amount of stock you have. But then it was also like, they, they made a scene, like in front of like all these people. And it was like, highly unprofessional, in my opinion, like, I think it could have been dealt whatever happened in like, a better manner. Because I think we, um, like my friend went to the bathroom, Caitlin went to the bathroom, and then I went to the, there was like an emergency exit, and I was just standing there, but you could see it, and I see, like, the guy, like, the owner guy, he's, like, on the phone, like, angrily, and there's, like, a group of, like, other people, like, there, like, with him, and I'm, like, I want to know what happened, like, I actually want to know what happened, they never addressed it, like, I checked, like, social media, they never, like, mentioned it, you just put, like, a sign or something, and so I was sad, but, mm. Before, fast forward to yesterday, we wanted to, st- <coughs> it says they close at like nine. So we're like, let's stop there before like we eat and go to like the sauna. And then I, could I, could I was like, it's probably gonna be sold out. I was like, don't say that. You better don't say that. And it was sold out when we got there. And it was like <sighs> seven. 
And I was just like, I'm just sad. I just think like they should account better for like their inventory if they're going to like stay open that long or just like adjust their hours, you know? They probably didn't expect them to get blown up on TikTok because the account that I found that advertised them is pretty big. So it's just like, I think like it was like already hyped because they were like their soft opening was already like their lines were really long like during their like before they even like open and it's like they've been open for like a few good days so it's like at this point you should expect it's crazy like looking at these reviews some people claiming that they drove from like iowa just to try this place out because there's not a lot of places like i wouldn't I, I would not drive three hours just to try one there's no food that that's good that is that good like i could never i mean a lot of people drive mm-hmm. all the way to, people drive all the way to mitsuwa like hours yeah, that's away that's true that's true mitsuwa mm-hmm. From Isla, everything. I would like, it. you know, if like you're, <laughs> if you're from, from if Iowa's you're, worth it. If you're from like a white, like a very white state, like, and you're trying to get like, <laughs> like a different like, culture, yeah. like, like, yeah, it's like a lot of people would. Yeah, I get, I feel that. Yeah. yeah, that I went back to that TikTok video, and a lot of people were saying like, yeah, they sold that within an hour. Like, yeah, I would. Like so the same day that you went, AJ, and they're like, "Yeah, they closed within an hour because the manager was freaking out or something, like yelling mm-hmm. and throwing things." Mm-hmm. And I was like, <gasps> "Yeah, he was uh-huh. causing such a big scene," and I was like, "Yikes!" Take it to the back. Yeah, it was very. It was kind of <clears throat> unprofessional. Yeah, but anyways, I got we got bubble tea. We got boba at we Paul got some tea. Good Korean food. Yeah, we got some good Korean food. Oh yeah. I, I had to wait five minutes. It's all good. They ran out of boba. For it me. was really, it was really funny because <laughs> I feel, I feel like if we ordered all together, yeah, they would have taken you, my order. Yeah, they kind of just they like can I got up and they cut her off. They still <laughs> yeah. got your drink before me though. Yeah. Yeah, but then, but then your was hers was easier. Yeah, and they ran out of boba too, and they're like, "I'm sorry, like if you plan on getting boba, like we don't have it at the moment." I'm like, "I didn't plan on getting boba." He's like, "Oh." perfect what do you want to get yeah it was a tea. i mean it made sense because it was like close to like when they're closing yeah. each time usually they run out at that time watch i'm gonna try to get it today just kidding yeah that was vibes do we want to try to get corn dogs today i have um, <laughs> aj's like ah third time's a third time to- i will be so mad if it's third bro if it's but like it's third- a saturday you, you have to get there before. Like, you have to have leave to like there. now. <laughs> oh no! You have to like line up they, like now. They open at eleven, so we'd have to get there when they open. Yeah, yeah. but like parking? I mean, I could. I mean, I could, Eric. I would. I'd go. Yeah, we can talk about it later. Okay. Yeah. I think you would have to like leave <coughs> and like pre line up before yeah. they open. Yeah, you're probably yeah. right. I don't mind. I just want a corn dog. Like I'm gonna get a corn dog. Like it, it's gonna be. And if I'm disappointed, I'm gonna write a bad review, <laughs> strongly worded review. So she said yesterday. So strong that she cut herself her mic off. <laughs> <laughs> no freaking <we> hear anything. <laughs> you just unplugged it. Hello. Yeah. Hello. You just okay. It. No, it's like my uh, the connection was loose on my <laughs> headphones, man. <laughs> They do sell frozen ones now, like the mozzarella ones. That yeah, but it's Asian. like not it's not that good. It's not like it's not like fresh. I feel like if I like air fried it, you know, it'd be fine. Air fry yeah. is good. I yeah. tried. I, that, I only I only air fry my corn dogs because one time I like to buy like the little mini like mini corn dogs, and one time my mom put like the air fryer away, and I real I was like, man, I guess I gotta microwave these. It's not the same. It's just, it just don't hit the same. Wait, I love what they call them corn dogs. They're cheese dogs. No, they have the... They, they, oh, they, they also have, have hot dogs. In, in yeah, because, like, there's, like, the, the split. Fish they, have, they have the cheese and the... They're both. The hot yeah, dog. Okay, They're both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. How about yeah. you, Daisy? What's, what's, what you've been up to, mm-hmm. military girl? Not much. I just got... Oh, I adopted a cat last oh, Friday. Yeah. So I've been doing that. Is she behaving? What? Is she behaving? I'm like my cat. Yeah, for the most part. She's That's just how, like how old so, is she? She's four months. Oh, oh baby. Yeah, she's baby. Just, yeah, she's a kitten. That's I mean, cute. she does 
Captain. Right now she's sitting at the window. Just looking I love it when cats do that. They're so innocent. They're, they're curious. Like, <laughs> they're like, yeah. Let me just look outside. They're like they're, they're like you know like the like old dads when they're like they stand out the window, arms like they're holding their arms behind their back, and they're just p- watching the neighborhood. That's the vibe I get when cats look out the window. Yeah, yesterday she was really entertained because the window opens towards a daycare. Oh, so I guess she was, okay. yeah, she was looking at the kids and like the people leaving and getting in their cars. Oh, Aww. so she's like, she's being like stimulated, like without like visually. That's so yeah. cute. Just the and she loves, she she's loves like, to cuddle. She loves to cuddle. That's nice. Oh, yeah. So when I'm Perfect. sitting playing video games, she's, she's like, she sits on my lap. She's like, give me attention. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's cute. That's cute. Oh my god, it was so, so, speaking of Daisy, I, the other day, my my parents said, like, you got something in the mail, and I'm oh. like, oh, <laughs> and then my parents were so confused. Okay, so, for those that don't, don't know, Daisy right now is living in New York, and, but before, she was doing her military training in Missouri, so... I got a letter in the mail and it was from Daisy, but it was like sent from Missouri. And so my parents were confused because they were like, is Daisy back in Missouri? Like, what's up with that? And I was like, I don't know. And I got this like last week, like a few days ago, actually. And the, the it was marked like the, like the post office marked it like August, like they sent it out like sometime August. But then I open it, and Daisy <laughs> sent this February. In February, she sent this for my birthday. Like the first yeah. thing I said, it said was, "I hope this gets to you by your birthday." <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely I not. Just, I was See, like, all my letters I sent because <laughs> I sent one to my coach as well, and she just got it a few days ago. That's so weird, though. And I sent one to one of my friends from college and she also just got it like this week i'm wondering so, if it's like i don't know it got, it got like it got lost at some point before it got sent out or like you know i don't know because it's Isn't like it... because if it got because it was postmarked by the office like august so it got Maybe. lost it got lost some point between february Bro, like the place, um, where do you do you drop it off at like a box or something or? Yeah, but it's like weird because I've dropped <laughs> other like letters yeah. in maybe that same just, box. Maybe and it they just arrived. Got, maybe it just before. got like organized weird. Like that, like know. one group of like letters was just like lost some point, and then they are like, oh, there you go. They found it. It's just it the was, military. It's it was. Slow. It was. Yeah. It was. <laughs> That's snail mail at snail yeah. mail at its finest. It was I thought it was just so funny. I was just like, ah yes, I got like a birthday in it was like my <laughs> half it's like my half birth half birthday, half birthday. Yeah. It was like six half months birthday. later. And I was like, well, at least I know, you know, Daisy did not forget my birthday. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, didn't oh. I send you your gift too, like ridiculously late? And I think Tiffany too. But I actually sent it late on perp. Like, it was my in, fault. Like, June. Or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just, yeah, it just. Be but like that, that. that was me. That was not the mail. <laughs> that, that was just like, that was Eric's like, per, that was his personal problem. <laughs> but yeah. That, I thought that was I thought that was really funny because like my parents were like what like Missouri and I was like bro they just sent it like six months late that's so funny like seeing like opening it and seeing it say February 2nd <laughs> was that, that I was like man yeah I even sent it out early <laughs> I know she sent it she was like I sent it out a few days early to get bro, I don't know that was that's just weird that's just, yeah it's a really weird. I've never gotten either. like <laughs> mail I've never late. gotten mail like that late like you know yeah I think I got my letter like a month after she sent it yeah that was so weird. I got yeah. it towards like Eric's birthday but okay, she had mentioned 
yeah, she had mentioned, she's like, oh, yeah, I sent a letter hoping, like, I, it gets to your birthday. I'm like, no, yeah. I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. I um, mean, but. I got mine, like, a couple weeks before mine. Yeah. <laughs> then you see, yeah, they want, I was like, they want, yeah, they, they really said, fuck you, AJ. <laughs> 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 six, months, six months late. No, no, but it was so nice. I have it, like, up on my, 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 um. I don't know what this is. It's like my, you know, my, the sh- you know, the shelf in my room. That's yeah. like, that's like a little house. Mm-hmm. It's on there. It's up there. I have like my Ooh. letters on there. Yeah. I keep, I keep mine on my desk too. Yeah. I was like, the, it was, the, man, that made my, that made my day. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> that made my day. It was so, it was so funny. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe I was, yeah, th- I, that, that's just so weird. That's just it, it definitely got lost at some point. Damn. Yeah, probably. But it's okay. It made its way back to you. It made it made its way. It's you know, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> <laughs> it's the thought that counts. It'd be like that. Ma- oh, mail gosh. mail is crazy. What is this? So uh, I'm so sleepy. Yeah. Um, I just feel so yeah. But it's okay. I gotta keep. I gotta wake up because AJ has swimming lessons today. Oh, yes, he he's swimming. Where's he doing swimming? Um, lessons? lifetime. Lifetime. Mm-hmm. Because you know we have that membership. Is he there. is he like in like like a, you know the different levels and stuff? Yeah. What level is he? So from there they rank, like from beginning from like one to six, and then when he first swam for the coach to like evaluate him he was at level six so he's getting like that training and then he'll probably move on to like higher things i know i know they do because i usually because i used to do swimming lessons i used to take some lessons um usually once you're past like some point they start doing like survival swimming (laughs) that was actually like pretty interesting like like uh, lessons i did because i did I think I finished swim school by like before, like I by fifth grade, and like at that point I was like proficient out there. Like if I wanted, when I got old enough to do lifeguarding, I could be like a lifeguard. Mm-hmm. I, I never did because that's that's too much responsibility. Because <laughs> I think you can be a lifeguard at like 14, 14 yeah. years old, and yeah, I just remember like fifth grade. Like my final like swim lesson, like it was like survival swimming, and God. I think I think that's a very like valuable. I feel like everyone should like learn, like that yeah. at least. It's like how to how to survive. Like if you're just like in the water, like you know, like crash in the water, like you got off the boat, you have like a life vest, like how like to like like you could use your clothes to like be like a, like a what are the like a floaty kind of like a floaty device, like how to like do that. And like you know, kind of like you jump, but you're not in some. So you're like, you're in the water with like and you're like right re- in like regular clothing. Oh gosh, that's cool. Like, yeah, so it's like 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 um learning how to like survive and like kind of maintaining how to properly like you know tread water for like a really long time. I think to like pass, it was like you're treading water for like three to five minutes, like in the water, and like floating. Yeah, it, I think that's that's a pretty cool. I think everyone should learn the basics on how to swim because it's like very, it's very, like sup- yeah, yeah. It's like very, <laughs> su- it's very surprising the amount of people that like, you know, like kids and stuff, they like drown in like lakes and ponds. So, you know, that's, so that's the life lesson today. Learn how to swim, at least basics like basics how to swim because you don't know you're if you when you're in that I like god forbid in some situation that you know you're in the water and you're like stuck you don't got like a life vest bro mom my mom got when my mom has a life vest she still panics like yeah you still like it's also really useful because like there's some people who know very little how to swim like they kind of can do like a doggy paddle but i remember this one guy he got like a a leg cramp and so he couldn't use his leg to swim and so like 
I mean, if you know how to swim, you you can just like lay on your back and float or whatever, right? Or you know how to do it. Or you can let you can like tread water with like one leg. Right. But this guy could not, and he was like drowning. And so someone tried to go and help him, and bad idea. Don't try to help a drowning person because they will drown you. Number one, another. (laughs) No, no, I, 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 I've, I've had to, I've had to save few too many people that I should have from like you know drowning like they they pull you in and it's hard it was like easier because like these kids were like lighter oh yeah so like I was it was easier for me to like that's why like if I hear of a 14 year old lifeguard like they better be lifeguarding like tiny tiny people because I mean that's why they have like the floaty things that's why you have, oh yeah yeah that's yeah, why yeah. they have this so basically for you don't know like if you go to rescue someone you always you always should be carrying like like something with you that like keeps you like up mm-hmm. yeah. because those people they're in a state of mind when like they're like panicking in like yeah it like honestly like i think like, like, like pe- yeah people like drown because like when you're like flailing like that you're actually pushing yourself down and people don't realize, you know, if you just stop, you float back up. You float back up. Uh, the human like, body tends to float. Body, like, yeah. And if you if you fatter, you float better. Like, yeah. Like, I told, I told my mom. <laughs> she so That's weird. so true, though. <laughs> but yeah, because, like, you know, it like it's you're more buoyant, you know? And... Cause I remember my god sister, we were swimming in like a lake. In bro, it was the stu- This was like back in. This was back in high school, I think, when I was in high school or maybe like early college. She knows how to swim. She knows how to swim. But this girl, she was. She decided to stop swimming because she was tired. <laughs> so she just started drowning. <laughs> <laughs> that was the stupidest thing but like she's like dry- and I was oh, bro I was actually so mad because I wasn't in like I wasn't swimming so I wasn't in like swimming clothes but I was in the middle of like there was like a dock in the middle of like kind of like the pond we're in but it goes pretty deep um but we got there because I rode a little rowboat to the middle of the pond and then they like like they like jump off so I was just chilling fishing or something catching like frogs and this girl she starts like, <laughs> like <laughs> but like they have I had like there's a rope there was a rope like on the thing so like I jump in there because bro she's drowning and then like I'm holding on the rope and I'm like trying to bring her up and she's like what? And then I get her on, and then her mom, my godmother, yelled at her so much. And then, cause it's like, what do you do when you're tired of swimming? You're supposed to just float. And then they're like, and then what? And then she just, she just started like, <laughs> she just, she gave up and was like, okay, time to drown. <laughs> oh my I god! Could, time to drown, I guess. And I was like, I was so bad because I was like, wet. And I was like, I didn't have a change of clothes, so I'm just, I just have to dry off, wait, wait till I dry off. That was, that was ridiculous. And ridiculous, ridiculous. Oh my and- gosh. Does anybody else have like a swimming-ish type of experience or trauma? Well, I mean, I don't know how to swim. Me neither. <laughs> Daisy, the, the Tiffany, Daisy, and Tip. This is why daisies in the in the, in the not in the navy not in the navy or marine. <laughs> I mean, Gosh. they know they never had you guys like like learn how to swim. Like, oh, wait, so- wait, here's a question: Do no. your parents know how to swim? I'm pretty sure they do because they grew up in Mexico. Yeah, I was gonna say like in Mexico and especially in Guerrero, like and, people swim through yeah. rivers against currents. You know what's yeah, ridiculous? I, my brothers know, and sister know how to swim too. Yeah. <laughs> what what, ha- what, ha- what happened to you then? What happened to you? I was born here. <laughs> and have never they, gone to Mexico. They, they've never, they've never like, you know, just thrown you in like the deep end of a pool. I feel like parents do that a lot for some reason. No. Nah, no. Yeah. But and like we like, had to swim in high school. You know. I was bad. I was oh, bad. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> 
can you mm-hmm. like can you at least, at least like, like doggy, doggy paddle i mean kind of not really no she's like oh, no, no i'm a cat person she's like i don't like the water <laughs> Go. You uh, but, you, you, but you tiffany uh, hmm. my dad can swim my mom can okay um i can do the what is this called like like for off uh, freestyle, the freestyle, the freestyle, but I don't know how to do the head thing, like where you breathe. Like where you breathe. <laughs> the oh, okay, okay. Part. oh, that's you just important. go. That's yeah, sad. yeah, that's a, it, it's not that hard. I don't know how to tread water. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the most same. important. Part. Oh, for the for people. Okay, so I'm gonna break it down. It's like your legs. It's like you know when you bike. Yes. That's how. That's your feet. You bike, and then your arms just go in and out. That's how you tread water. See, the concept makes sense, but then I get in the water, and then I'm like... <coughs> I think it's just like a coordination <laughs> thing. It's, a, it's definitely yeah. coordination thing. You know I think what's what... crazy, too? Like, what? water in water polo, like, there's different ways to tread water, yeah. right? Yeah. And there's a way where they do it, like... Like, egg beater style. And they have, like... I, I was never really good at it, but, they like, they could be, like, floating out of the water. That's how yeah. good they were at treading water. And I'm like, how? <laughs> yeah like legs. strong like really strong leg. legs yeah i think what's ridiculous is my mom doesn't know how to swim and the town the town she's from like the city she's from is like you know a big like seafood like capital in the philippines she lives right by the like the water and then my dad's like you've never learned how to swim my dad like clowns her so much and she's like because the rest of her like siblings know how to like swim she's like no i was she's like no i was i was a basically she was a wuss she's a scared <laughs> she's a scaredy cat so she never like learned how to swim and one time we went to the philippines she's like panicking she, like we're in the water she doesn't want to go too deep and i'm like bro you have a life vest like you're not gonna drown my my little cousin was the same exact way and I'm like, bro, it's like I'm seeing my mom, but in tiny version. That's literally my little cousin. My little cousin is basically my mom, but small. Because I would carry her, but she has like a life vest, you know? And you know, when you have the life vest, it's like you kind of sink a little bit, but it like brings you back up, right? So she, uh, I would bring her into like the deeper water. And I would like start letting go of her, and then she starts like panicking, and she like starts cr- climbing on top of me. She's like, "I'm gonna drown," and I'm like, "You are not gonna drown. You're wearing a life vest, and it's not even that deep. It's just that she's short, so she can't stand up. So she's like panicking, and I'm like, "Damn, you live in the Philippines, and you scared to swim." <laughs> It'll be in the middle of the ocean. You live in the middle. You live in the middle of the o- your island, basically swimming in the middle of the ocean, and you can't. Ridiculous. So funny. God. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, Daisy, Tiffany. Uh, your homework is to uh, get good. <laughs> get good. Yeah, you should. Yeah, at least like a right, trip to Hawaii or something. I yeah. want to go to Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. But but over they have over tourism right now, so that's true. Yeah, but honestly, I think, I mean, I just feel like it's more of an irrational type fear. But like, I mean, obviously, like we can swim and all. But I think for me, it's more trauma because when I was younger, I think I had like two, you know, those like big tidal waves at like Wisconsin Dells oh. at like Mount Olympus. Oh yeah. yeah and, if you get um, trapped under those, those are scary. Yeah, so I went to two when I was younger, and I think it was like Mount Olympus, the raging waves, and then um in the wilderness they also have like kind of similar thing to the raging waves, which is like very, very sh- I don't know, I don't know if y'all seen it or been in it, but it's like all the way in the back and you start off with like humongous tidal it's waves the, that kind of carry wave over. Wave. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I think when I the first time the incident that happened was I think in the wilderness the, at the wilderness. And I almost drowned because the waves because I was towards like the middle and on the end and I think it like carried me away like the waves cuz I was super light back then. Like it disorients you. Yes. And I was like, "Oh my god, where am I?" And then 
I think I started not drowning, but I kind of felt like panicky because I couldn't find my aunt and I couldn't see anybody else. Like I was just getting trampled over by the waves. So then I think somehow the way like my, my aunt was like yelling towards a lifeguard, but like she found me, she literally, I literally washed up like close to her and she literally pulled me by my suit and I was like, <laughs> like, yes. Okay. But I'm okay. I was fine. <laughs> So then I was like, oh, like, okay, I almost drowned, but we're fine. So, you know, we were... vi- you know, vibes, it's, it's like, fine. It'd, it'd be like that sometimes. sometimes you have yeah. to go through a life near death sometimes. experience. Yes. <laughs> so then I think um, a couple years later, we went to um, Mount Olympus with our fam. I think this was like early, late. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe in like 2010s area. And it was like an outdoor event because the the out the wilderness it's an inside event so at the mount olympus it's bigger it's bigger it's better whatever and i was like all right let's try this one more time (laughs) and i remember it was a fun experience i'll give it that however the waves carried me so fast because given i was only like 43 pounds um Oh God, I, it took me over and I was having fun. However, I knocked over like this very large person and cause she was not aware of like the waves coming right at her cause she was talking and oh, I, God. and a person trampled over her and myself and she fell on top of me. Oh, oh my God. I had scrapes. Cause you know, it was like yeah. that, like really, it's rough. like a gritty yeah mm-hmm. and i had scrapes on my body i couldn't breathe because the I this lady like, is on you she fell right on top of me squished all my air out and i basically <sighs> sucked in water oh no I was like, like i was like oh. i felt myself drowning i was like oh my god not again and i <laughs> and i was basically like tumbling through the water because you know it's a wave the waves yeah. like, I was, like mm-hmm. coughing i was like <clears throat> and i basically washed up on the shore and i was like crying i just remember crying got washed up i'm sure she got it was so scary i was like i couldn't breathe i was coughing lifeguard was asking me if i was okay and i'm like (coughs) like, i'm 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 alive barely and then i was crying out to my mom and i think it was like one of those like moments that you see like on a beach where like that one lonely girl is standing something bad happened to her and then the lonely mom is like crying oh my god what happened that was me that was <laughs> Girl, those like wave like wave um wave pools are like crazy sometimes because they had one at, they have one in like my prospect the yeah. one their pools oh. I rem- yeah they have one i because um my dad used to work there so i was always at that i was always at the wave pool but it's um hot. but it's like when it carries you and if you're really light and it carries you like all the way back yeah like sometimes you're gonna get scrapes because the, some of the water is so shallow at that point yeah. and it's like witty so i remember getting like a few scrapes with that yeah it was trauma i feel like can i has can i just has a lot of trauma with like a lot of different events that are tra- <laughs> oh yeah can i just traumatized i am so, yeah i was gonna say oh yeah i also drowned in my swimming lesson when i was first <laughs> learning how to swim and i was gonna explain it but i guess my trauma doesn't isn't as no, traumatizing no, as no, 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 no. You can explain. <laughs> you're, you're, we don't you're, minimize traumas here. No, right? trauma, trauma is the same. We're all traumatized. Oh, okay, well, I, was, I think I was learning how to swim. Like, the, one of the swimming lessons. I think it was, like, a guppy or something at yeah. the park district. And, um, so my train, like, my trainer person was, like, looking at other the other kids or whatever. And so I was just in there. And then I started drowning. <laughs> by myself but she didn't even notice my mom oh, had to be like that's so sad my mom was like uh she's my drowning, drowning. <laughs> do your job yeah she's like oh uh, she's mom? drowning yeah. hello <laughs> your mom? You... It's yeah a, it's a, so funny when it's like oh hello won't you it sounds so funny because it's like your mom's like she's not panicking she's like oh she's drowning. <laughs> um, yeah. and i think after that i was just like never again i'm not going back it's like yeah i mean when you're little like that's very scary yeah, yeah. It is. it's it's so funny your mom's just casually like uh my daughter's like drowning well, because it was like three feet probably <laughs> uh, so okay. like but like i probably was like five so it was 
<laughs> you're traumatizing at, for me. You, you, but... It's like at that point, you're standing and already reaches like the top of your head. <laughs> Oh, his, his How's your room. new cat like settling in and like fitting in with your, with you and the other cat? Yeah. He thinks he, every time we walk in anywhere is food time. <laughs> 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 that's all I can say. <laughs> the hungry cat. He eats like anything that's like the felt or like the squishy Aww. stuff. Yeah. Oh, no. So like all of his, all of the cat toys, like the handles are like the squishy stuff. So he's been eating all that. <laughs> the sponge. He likes wash the, dishes. He, he, he likes the texture, huh? Oh. Yeah, he likes the texture. Yeah. So oh. it's fun finding that sometimes. <laughs> oh, little there's cat. just some really good cats out there, but like, there's just meow. He's a very good cat. That's why we're like, oh, let's get another one. And then my uh-huh. other one is. He's a little troublemaker. He's a handful. He's a little troublemaker. Yes. <laughs> he he, every time I'm cooking, he always wants to have See, some. He's like, how old is the how old's the cat? He's four. How's the other one? <laughs> Two. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Or you get him young. <laughs> that's how you she get had, him young. She adopted. Oh, okay. The reason why we got both of them was because they advertised them as biscuit makers. They're like, oh, they do so many biscuits. Do they do biscuits now? No. Is that mean? <laughs> they do the little kneading. Little paw, like, they need. grinding into, like, your... <laughs> so, Mr. Meow, he doesn't, like, just, like, like your clothes the blankets or, or your or legs. Whatever your... If, like, if they're on you, they'll do the, like, it's kind of like this type of feeling where they take out their claws and then they kind of, like, gently scratch you i guess that's what tiffany had explained to me because i would remember like seeing marks on my legs uh-huh. like, <laughs> like why are there cat scratches on my legs and then tiffany's like does she like do this thing where it's like this i'm like yes she's like that's called biscuits and i'm like are biscuits eating? <laughs> yeah. yeah i mean but- for the most part i mean this guy does take out his claws mr miyagi doesn't use his claws when he needs he just uses his paws. Aww. Doesn't it mean like they like like you or something yeah. when they do that? They're like, yeah. happy. They're like yes. Yeah. And they don't do it anymore. They're <laughs> like, like they're, happy. they're like yeah. happy. they're like I'm content, but you could be doing more. <laughs> you could do better. I think it's okay. My my thing is that oh we need to advertise so that they like us, and then once we're at their home, we don't need to advertise anymore. They're like you got. Know, they're like uh. You're like, you know, give them a little taste and then. Yeah, literally. Leave them, then leave them hanging. Yeah, advertise so that they think that we're amazing. And then after that, not anymore. Sounds like dating apps. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It happened twice. Mr. Miyagi, oh, my God, he does biscuits all the time. He did biscuits when we were there at the shelter. Does he do them now? Only when he's super hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't wake up to feed him. <laughs> this yeah, guy, like, he said, no more biscuits for you. I literally. <laughs> and then the new guy, he would do biscuits laying on the ground, on the chair, and everything. Now but does he, he do it? Not really. Maybe, maybe you know, it's still a new home. You know, I don't know. I don't know. They, he, he got too. Con- he got. He got too content. He got too. He's like. He's like. I don't need to do it. I'm here to stay. Yeah, but literally, <laughs> probably. Um, but I like. I'm glad that they're they're at least getting along. It, it only took them a day, so I'm surprised. That's it's good. supposed to take cats like a month or two or whatever. Cause like, cause like they like mm-hmm. like it's, it's like, territorial. Territorial. Mm-hmm. But I, I'm glad that they 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 like each other. Yeah, literally, that's cute. Yeah. That's really cute. Brothers, brother bond. Oh, that's cute. Oh, what an animal. <laughs> <laughs> animal. Oh, when am I getting my Pomer? When am I getting my Pomeranian Kevin? It's soon. Soon. My mom, my mom was like, my mom was like, hmm. She was intrigued. Like the, the idea got brought up again. And she's like, oh, Kevin, I could name it Kevin Durant. And I'm like, please, no. <laughs> why, we bring, why we gotta bring why we gotta bring basketball into this you God. know 
anything to actually get the dog in the house and you just call him Kevin and you just make her believe it's Kevin Durant. Yeah, I was just like, because I she was like she was like talking about how she would like a dog, but she's like not in this house. I'm like, what do you mean not in this house? We've had a dog before. Hi. <sighs> we but- get it, Kanai. You have a dog. We get it. You don't, to, you don't have to rub it in my face. Oh. <laughs> As she rubs it in your face. Get out of here, Roman. Get out of here. He literally just came, I think. Just now. He was outside. He looks I bet like you he's, he's still scared of me. Yeah, he definitely probably is. Probably. He approached Forever traumatized. Me. He's, he's approached me one time. I think I went to uh because I, I brought a like a frappuccino to Kanai and then he said, Reggie, like, he was like, oh, you want to go out, Rofin? He went out, and he came up to me, and I was like, wow. He's never done this before. The last time I was over, he was like, who are you? And I'm like, bro, I saw you last week. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Are we ready for some recommendations? Yes. Yes. What are we doing today? I think mm. Daisy can decide the topic. Yeah, since she hosted, since she introed us. She's a quiet girl today. Yeah. Mm. Pick a theme, any theme. Any theme? Mm-hmm. Um, Our last recommendation for the season. Mm-hmm. Don't mess Shoot. it up. Don't mess it up. Um, yeah. I feel like we should talk about food. <laughs> what kind food of food places food yeah. places yeah all right oh, that's tough. okay um, okay 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 i'll go i'm ready if okay you can go yeah ahead. you can go, go okay ready. i'm gonna go the op i don't know if this is a recommendation or an absolute like never go to this place oh, okay, okay. this is place in it's still a recommendation. <laughs> I recommend yeah, yeah. you not go there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go. <laughs> well. Okay. The place is called La Canoa, the canoe in Waukegan, and they sell Mexican seafood. It's it's really really good. I love the food. But one time we went there, and uh, it was like, Valentine's. Is this a recommendation or a I know. I, it's, I was like, he's like, it's really good, but but one time we went and we were literally there. And we were a big group, but like, it's a big restaurant. They're supposed to be able to handle us. But anyway, we were waiting for like three or four hours for our food. Oh really? Ooh. Like, no. Oh no! Did you guys stay? We we fucking stayed because I don't know why I don't know why Maybe we stayed so there, long. It's like is there like one chef? Like what the? And they really messed up. They what it was happened? really bad. I don't know. They just they're like oh we just have more people than we expected today. I'm like you've been open for many many years. Like you should be able to handle this this. Anyways, that not it wasn't the first time I went there, but it was the last. Ooh. Oh. Oof. But if you want to try it and you want to roll the <laughs> dice, if we want to wait three four hours, oh, go for I it. I have a very similar like recommendation then, uh, going on that topic. So it's in, um, my golf mill. It's like Niles, Milwaukee area. It's a Filipino restaurant. It's called Tita Mia's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we know we know the owners, um, like for many years, but um. I think they have like some of the best like Filipino food. Like they have like crispy pata. It's like very like no one makes it like they do. Mm. But the problem is if they're busy, there's only one cook. Mm. So if they're busy, it, it's gonna take a while. Like they try to get out as fast as you can, but I'ma say their servers are really bad. Like they, like it's clearly they don't know what they're doing my goodness like because they don't bring out orders to the right table or they don't bring it in the right order so like say like two tables have like the same kind of order like food if they just act they just don't remember what table ordered first they'll bring it to like the wrong table like ordered later like way later and so you're like waiting for your food longer because they're supposed to like bring it out to you first because you ordered it first, but they brought it to like a different table. Like, 
Yeah. And you know, it's just like you know, they just like yak, like they. It's just like they don't really. If they're really busy, they're like not really too trained for like. They're not handling that, for, yeah. like handling that, and like I get it. They have like like one cook, but it's like you know, like usually like servers will come up to you if it takes too long. They're like, oh, like your food's coming out and stuff, your, like you know, or like your like food's gonna take three or four hours. Yeah, yeah, but like like they <laughs> kind of like the wait the wait like you kind of have to like wave your waiter down and like when you ask them like they have no answer for you they like they, they don't know like what they're yeah. what they're doing but but food is really good i would go when it, if it's not like if they're if it's not busy they have like halo halo they have like bakery foods mm. really good food mm. like i think everything on the menu is like top like top tier like filipino food it's just you know go when it's not really busy like don't go on like a holiday or like peak like lunch peak dinner hours because you're gonna be waiting a while if there's a lot of people in there that's my recommendation that's my recommendation not recommendation like eric go next um so i recently went to california and um san francisco to be specific and the place I will recommend is the Crab House um, because seafood, amazing, delicious. I would hope so. It's California. We, we had this like crab chowder and mm. this crab fettuccine. Ooh, so good. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. It, it hit different. You know, like we have a red lobster here and they have oh. crab fettuccine. Uh uh-uh. uh no 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 red lobster damn that's but like you know, bottom tier <laughs> like, you know you know you know you gotta start from the bottom sometimes we got yeah. bob chins what are you talking about yeah no i'm tra- i have trauma with bob chins we got so. we got we got <laughs> boston, we got boston fish market no boston fish market is expensive it's good though uh uh-uh. it's good clam chowder there okay i gotta try it I- i'll try something else on the menu but yeah you gotta get anyways, clam chowder crab fettuccine at Crab House. Mm, magnifique. That's my recommendation. And you're right by the pier. You can see the water. I don't have to be in the water. I can see the water. So it's a plus for me. And I got a cute little sun view. Damn. Whenever I'm in San Francisco, which is yeah. probably going to be never. But you know, <laughs> I mean, hey, I guess. One thing I will not recommend is San Francisco as in like the hills because it's one thing to look at the hills, but it's another to ride them. And I almost had a heart attack, panic attack every time he, my stepdad is how to do a little something like, ooh, let me, let me just like shift the gear for a second. No, 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 no. Terrifying. But there is my do and don'ts. It's like, you know, you know, uh, like the Princess Diary because it's in San Francisco. Yes. Like the, the car. Yeah. Oh, so he was driving manual, right? Is that yeah, it? Yeah, he had to go into like, because you know our cars are automatic so he, he went he has to go we have to go in first first gear or whatever it's called because there's no way it's gonna wear out your brakes and you're like it's just crazy it's hard it's super hard i don't know how people live there let alone on the hills i think lombard street's really pretty but oh my god like place to riding, visit is yeah. it's mm, yeah like take me to the shores like take me to the piers because it's flat and it's beautiful, and there's a lot of food places there. We're privileged with flat land in the Midwest. <laughs> because, oh my god, I think I was, like, in my chair, like, I got the whole back seat with my brother, and I was literally, like, <laughs> like, sinking in, because I could not, I can't, I can't do it, and you, y'all well, know, steep. A, y'all know I have a fear of heights, and, oh my god, like, there were some instances where I was literally screaming in the car, because, <laughs> I couldn't look back. I couldn't look forward because there's this thing called a Russian hill or something. And oh my God. It's like, yes, I'm going up and down the hill. (laughs) As Eric rules it. (laughs) No, I can't. mm -mm. But it is a beautiful place. I must say different views. Yes. Crab house. Yes. Okay. I'm done. (laughs) Interesting. Well, I'm going to recommend something back in Chicago. Okay. Cute. Cute. So I'm going to recommend this restaurant called Las Islas Marias. I know there's one in Wheeling, but we tried that one. and it It's not a, not a good. No, no, not as good. So we go to the one in Chicago. 
Ooh. And there's a couple in Chicago, but the one we go to is on Grand and Cicero. Ooh. Did you look it up? I did look it up. <laughs> yeah, I look. I look how her, her eyes went. Down I did like, look it up because I was like, she went is, grand "Am I remembering? Am I remembering this right?" Because it's been a while. It's yeah. been a while since we've gone there. Yeah, yeah. But Ooh. the food what kind is of food? pretty good. What kind of Don't food? they have like, seafood too? Yeah, it's like Mexican seafood. Ooh, yeah. But it's like from where my dad is, and he's like uh. from a really small area. Oh, so. that's cute. Yeah, so we go there and it's pretty cool. Good. Oh, sounds we gotta yummy. Try it. We gotta sounds, try it. Sounds yeah. yummy. Okay. Okay, Tiffany, go. Go. Recommendation. Okay. Well, I guess I'll recommend something from Iowa. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't okay, know. You're going to take me there when I go and visit you. Yeah. Okay, well, it's not like a fancy schmancy restaurant. It's, it's all right. Like, like a, it's like a burger place. It's, oh, it's okay. called Teddy's Bigger Burgers. It's it's okay. It technically originated from Hawaii, but I don't oh, know why cute. they decided to open Iowa. one randomly in <laughs> Iowa. <laughs> That's it's so funny when okay. like places do that. Well, actually, let me look up where the locations are because it's so random. Research. I mean, I it's I like it because it's like it's not like your usual. Is it in Iowa City? But, yeah, it's in Iowa City. I think I saw it when I was there. Well, I'm hungry. Uh, <laughs> locations and menus. Let's see. They have yes, it's Iowa cool. City. Yeah, there's. It's usually it's on Honolulu, Maui, Washington, Iowa. That's like, so that's so that's random. Really random. I yeah. think it's really funny because I'm reading like the page right now, and it says our customer base has been begging us to expand for a very long time, so they picked Iowa. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Iowa? Yeah, I, I like it because it's like the burgers are different, I guess. I don't know. Different. different as in like with like a Hawaiian like version, like twist to it? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Oh. So kind of uh, like Filipino burger. Is that Jollibee with that oh, aloha? Fuck, oh, fuck Jollibee. <laughs> fuck Jollibee. Not recommend. <laughs> no, rec- my, recommend- my recommendation is is no. Jollibee is overhyped and the wait <laughs> is not worth it. Like people wait like like hours for it and it's like there's no. better there's better fried chicken out there. The burgers are like okay like yeah. i hate the burgers i'll be real um the only good thing there is hello hello and mango peach pie Hell, and, yeah. and, per- and period and even then if the wait is long I, it's not even worth it like if the line be out <laughs> yeah you I got you got, had a, jelly bean. you got you got a little extra the chicken's only good if you eat it with the gravy in my opinion and if it's hot it's not the one of those spicy chicken- ones good too yeah. spicy chicken. it's okay spicy chicken joy it's all right oh my goodness i think eric had mentioned like an like a uncensored um episode like in the future or something i don't know what he said something about uncensored or uncensored i don't know i don't know i don't it was, know kind of uncensored we were talking about naked people <laughs> <laughs> so i don't know about that <laughs> but um yeah so Thank you for all our listeners out there who have been listening to the podcast. For for some reason, you decided to listen to us. So thanks, guys. (laughs) Until next season. Until until next season. um, Yeah. Have a good rest of your year if you're starting school. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Have a good rest of your day. Yeah. So weekend. That's that. This our season finale for y'all. Thanks for a good twenty plus episodes. It's been like almost a year since we started. Oh, wow. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah. Say your goodbyes. Bye. 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 See you. See you guys next. See you when time. I see you. See you next season. Season two. <laughs> <laughs>